Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Um, today I'm here with baby India. And for many of you, you already know, India is a cuddle baby with, you know, the hands. Um, and um, she is the prototype kit by Jennifer Sussman Price. And she was painted and <laughs> going to be eventually finished rooting, rooted by me. Um, so, anyway, oh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also, guys, if you want to join the my channel membership, which is the Chatterbox, you can do so by clicking the link. In the description bar, it is a dollar and ninety-nine cents a month, and you do have to be at least eighteen years old to join. So, I'm gonna change her today. And did I drop your other hat? I probably did, but that's okay. Cause I'm probably put her on a pink. I don't have a hat to match, so she's just gonna have on a pink hat. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and strip her down. And um. I just wanted to come on and I thought I'd, I'd dress her in front of you guys. Like, cuddle babies are not for people who um, are looking to, like, be very free in their dressing. Um, like, if you want to put your babies in a onesie and diaper and stuff like that then a cuddle baby is not going to be your thing but if you're a person a collector that actually like enjoy like for most collectors i find and i i think i'm a little different but i think most collectors they basically judge a base baby solely off of the face like it has to be cute i have friends that's like oh it has to be cute the body style can be a little you know awkward for me but maybe not so much for them but as long as the face is cute they're okay so I think you know those kind of collectors are definitely good with cuddle babies especially if they're they're uh cuddle mommies like and when I say cuddle mommies mommies that actually pick up their dolls like to hold their dolls um some mommies don't really hold their babies. They just want to, they're just in it for the dressing. They love to dress them, style them, pose them, but they don't necessarily pick them up. So they don't really care if they're, you know, super squishy or not. They just want them to look good in their clothes. Then those type mommies probably wouldn't like a cuddle baby because it'll be like, Lim very limited on the outfits. They'll be more of a winter baby than a summer baby. Um, but for me, I'm a, I am like to look at my dolls usually. I do actually like for my babies to be cuddly. I like to hold them. Um, so I actually found that this actually really, really works for me. I'm going to tell you guys something that you guys may not know about me. Um, I typically don't put my babies on gowns because it can be a trigger for me. Um, and I, I don't want to call it trauma, childhood trauma, but just a very, you know, I don't know, um, a very emotional time in my, my, my life. And I don't, so usually I don't put, uh babies on uh gowns but i actually loved her in that gown and so it was really um kind of therapeutic for me in in a way i feel like i i actually kind of like got past that little trauma that i normally feel when i see a baby in a gown so yeah so anyway these 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 lifelike dolls can be very helpful in a lot of ways um as some of you guys may or may not know again you know with this pandemic a lot of stuff is going on with a lot of people and a lot of people are losing loved ones etc etc 
and you know a lot of people are suffering with depression and a lot of stress and stuff and I just found that I usually I, I've gotten out of the habit of popping my tags usually I usually uh I don't start it where I try to cut them now but I forgot to do these I did the socks but I didn't do these but um so anyway my point is is that sometime you know really like holding these babies um the weight of them laying on your chest it 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 just really feels good it's really relaxing it's you know it it's a stress reliever um for me you know every everybody it may not do something for you know i know some people mock collectors that hold their babies or say that you know they relieve stress and you know that's fine if people like to make fun of the situation that's fine but it's a very real thing and so i I'm, I'm just here to share my experience and tell you guys what i feel um about my experience with you know the dolls and if if it helps somebody else then that's great if not you know it is what it is but yeah so I've really, really, like, learned a lot of stuff. And, and you know what else I, I found out that I like about them, too? Like, you know, I'm very funny about putting my babies on, like, colorful clothes. So, she has some pants, and I just haven't got her the tops to match. But she has, like, pants. I have pants in there that I bought, but got scared to put them on my, on my other babies. Because, you know, I don't want the dye to come off on their limbs and stuff like that. And they're, like, really dark, you know, vibrant colors. Well, I don't have a problem with putting her on them. Another thing is, like, I can totally put her on a heat pad and heat her up. And I don't I don't worry about, is the heat going to really do something to the silicone? Now, I had a friend that used to put her silicone baby, her full body baby, on a heat pad every day. And she said it didn't do anything to the baby. And I, I, think, I don't think it did, but I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Look, my baby's ball, yo. No, she's ball. Don't judge her. Don't judge her. Don't talk about her. Right. She wearing a little hat from Auntie Cena. Says snuggle is real. Um. But yeah. Um. But yeah, so you it's a lot of little things that you can get away with. Now, like, yeah, we might not want to put them on, you know, short sleeves because of their cloth and stuff. I might actually, you know, me, I might actually do it when I'm by myself and they're not being on camera. Oh, there's your other thing. I'm also going to use these socks. They came, too, from Auntie. And they got little hearts on them, like two hearts. So, I'm going to put them on her little footsies. But yeah, so I'm just finding all different ways to enjoy my cuddle baby. I actually, um, I actually want more. And, you know, we are, we are told, you know, a lot in the community. Like, oh, this is superior to this. And if you have this type of doll, it's not as, you know nice as that doll or you know because it might not be the most popular in demand a lot of people like shy away from you know getting it or you know or i've talked to a lot of people lately and they're like if i don't have you know a certain kind of doll i may feel to feel less than that's like with my doll group i on facebook i allow like ashton drake's Lee Middleton dolls, any type of legit doll that's not a stolen copy type thing. I I allow all those dolls in. In fact, BJDs, everything. In fact, I wish people would share more of the other dolls in there as well because um like a lot of people are saying, especially with what's going on in the world in the pandemic and just stuff just 
getting really crazy prices going up. I think it's it's so good for you know people to see that there's other options out here that's not like hurting the sculptors or you know that won't get you banned from the doll community because this is a doll community in my opinion it's not just a reborn a silicone you know community um I do think that reborn cuddle babies are very affordable I don't know to be honest the silicone cuddle babies are still kind of pricey in my opinion um, especially when, you know, in the big scheme of things, it's like, oh, it's just a head, da 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 But the problem is, is that it still requires a lot more work. It's still, um, you're still getting a full he head of rooted hair. You're still, you know, got to pay for the kit, which costs, you know, more than the, um, uh, than a reborn would. So it's it's still going to be a little bit more pricier than an actual reborn, but I I personally really really love the uh, the silicone uh, partials. I mean, uh, cuddle babies, and then like you know, and she can take a pacifier in a bottle and stuff like that. I like that. Um, a, cu a cuddle baby reborn can actually take a pacifier too. It's just magnetic. Uh, so I think it it still be fun. And you put it on the same, you know, tight bodies. I've seen some bodies that look cool. Um, I like them. They're I like the way they look. But I haven't felt one yet that's a different than the Reggie Ann baby bodies. And I think they look really good. They're really filled out and everything. But for me right now, unless until I find those bodies and try them out um I just prefer Reggie Ann bodies on my cuddle babies but that's just me a lot of people are like oh I don't well not a lot of people but some people are like I don't like the um like the the different little joints and all that and stuff and but I do because for me it allows me to be able to like pose her in a lot of different ways and you know really just She just moves and feels more baby-like to me um, with the Reggie Ann body. And I think that's another thing. Like, it's just, I don't know. She just feels so cuddly because she's full of just the glass beads. And she's just so snuggly. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really pushing, oh, gosh, everybody should go out and get a cuddle baby. Because I don't think they're for everybody. But I do think that a lot of people probably are missing out on um, something that they probably would enjoy just because it's not popular or it's not, they're getting more popular though, I won't lie. Or because other people are, you know, in their, their little group or clique are like, oh, don't nobody want no cuddle baby. I, why would I just buy just the head and all this and stuff? You know, it's like for me with the vinyl babies, they're not soft like silicone, but they're still cuddly in the core. But I don't know, for me, the cloth, the uh, cuddle babies now, I'm realizing that because they're soft, they like not soft, soft to where they're too mushy like soft. Like this is far, pretty firm, you see? It's not like as mush, but because it does have like that bean bag kind of feel, I don't know. I don't know. And when she's warm, oh my gosh, it's just amazing for me. But yeah. Yep. So this is this is it. This is my new joy. Just something that I really am into. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I am definitely working on more cuddle babies for my personal collection. Because I really, really actually am enjoying her. And I don't know. I just feel like I like her size too. Now for me, I don't want a big cuddle baby. Because when you get into bigger cuddle babies, you got to keep in mind that it's by what? Three, four, five months, you don't really. I'm going to say maybe after three months, like six months, you're not putting babies on hammocks. So if this baby about six months size or a year, 
you putting the hand mitts on, you got to put the socks on. Now, if it's got hands, maybe, but you can't sit them up like you, you know, you would a reborn and stuff. So for me, then I don't, I don't find them desirable at that, that size. Because for one, I'm not going to be wanting to hold something so big and heavy. So for me, either premium or newborn size up to three months is the biggest I think I'll go and cuddle babies. But that's just me. That's also me with silicone, period. Like full body silicone, I don't want nothing over three months. Because I don't want that gigantic weight, you know, it's just too much. So, but I know some collectors really love it and that's okay too. Because we, we supposed to love what we, you know, enjoy what we love and stuff. And I, you know, I, sometimes I have friends, they share their pictures privately with me of their babies, like their toddlers, silicone babies and stuff. And they're dressed really cute and stuff like that. And I, you know, I celebrate that with them, but I personally just wouldn't want it because I just feel like you know with the toddlers and stuff like that you want to be able to do role play and sit them up and this and if it if it's gonna be slumping over and falling over you got to be careful where you sit it and all that I, mean, I just don't want it but anyway thanks guys for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful week I'll probably have a box opening live tonight if the giveaway baby arrives to um, his mommy, um, we will, we will come and do it live. That was her request that she open it up live. So we'll try to do that. So until the next time, and don't forget guys, you never know when I might do another giveaway. See you guys later. Bye-bye.